I am here in London, standing on the London Bridge, and at the backdrop, as you can see, right there, I guess, is one of my favorite bridges in the entire world, the Tower Bridge. I love it. I've seen a lot of bridges all over the world, but this one is my favorite. So I couldn't help but use that as a backdrop for this video. <laughs> So in this one, you will hear my kids say something we call a faith confession. When my wife and I, when we got married, we sat down and we prayed and dedicated our lives to the Lord. And then we asked the Lord what his plan was for our lives. And you know what the Lord did? He asked us to search our own heart because he's already laid his purposes in our heart. And then we started writing down things which we were really passionate about. As you know, my kids will actually tell the whole thing. They know it by heart. They tell it every day. I would like that to become a culture in their life, you know. So the Bible says when Jesus asked the disciples, he taught the disciples to pray. He told, your kingdom come and your will be done. Pray for God's kingdom to come. What's the kingdom? The king's dominion. Who is the king? Jesus. What is dominion? One who rules. That means Jesus' rule. That's in simple terms what a kingdom means. He is the king and he would like his kingdom as in heaven, as it is in heaven for us to get it here and demonstrate his kingdom wherever we are in our circle of influence. Why, he, why does he do that? It's because he loves to partner with us. Every time we have a revelation of Jesus the king, and we reveal him based on how he reveals himself to us, we are bringing his kingdom, his rule, into wherever we are. And that's what we are mandated to do. So as families, as you hear this faith confession that we have, things that we are passionate about, I hope that it inspires you as families to sit down and then make a note of what is your passion. What has God laid in your heart as his purpose for you as families? Write it down, declare it as a family so that you will bring God's kingdom in and through your lives here on earth as he wants you to, as he has determined it in his very heart. Some of the things that they say is things like, Jesus came to give his life to me and that life is in my spirit already. Today, that life and nature of Christ, which is in my spirit, will manifest itself through me for the glory of Jesus. And that was so deep in my spirit. And when I said it, it resonated with my wife's heart too. And our kids are telling that. That's just part of the faith confession. And everything is based on scripture. You know, for example, this specific aspect of the life of Christ, there are so many scriptures. For example, John chapter one. Oh, there's a loud motorbike. John chapter one, verse four. John chapter five, verse 26. John chapter six, 63. John chapter 20, verse 31. One John five, verse 10 and 11. There are so many scriptures. So everything they say is based on scripture. And there are some things that I had been inspired. For example, some of the sayings from Smith Wigglesworth was been an inspiration in my walk with the Lord. So it's a combination of men of God sayings as well as the truth which is burning in my heart, which we are passionate about which we wrote down and we declared that, my wife and I, till we got kids. And once we got kids, they know it by heart too. And we declare that every day, whenever we can. Almost every day. Sometimes if a kid's already very tired, they go to bed without telling that. We just pray with them. But I hope this inspires you to have your own confession as a family. The passion and the purpose God has put in your own spirit so that you will be able to declare that based on the revelation you have in your own spirit so that you will reveal God's kingdom here on earth as he's purposed for your lives. God bless you. says it, I believe it, that settles it. For I am what the word says I am, I have what the word says 
I have, I can do what the world says I can do. I am not moved by what I see. I am not moved by what I feel. I am not moved by circumstances. I am moved only by what I believe. And I believe that it shall be to me, just as it was told me. Lord, be it unto me according to your word. Jesus came to give his life to me, and that life is in my spirit already. Today the life and nature of Christ, which is in my spirit, will manifest itself to me for the glory of Jesus. Therefore I, the doer of God's word, and I tell him not only, is great and sufficient for me, that I will not keep his conscience for the spirit, but the life I lead is going to be a reverential worship that is pleasing to my Father in heaven. He who is in me is greater than he who is in the world, and the greater one is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think. I believe, therefore I speak, and decree 